Hey everybody, welcome to something. This is Ashram Dover, Rick Price and Jasmine. Hello. Hello! We're playing Colony Survival. How do I punch stuff? Uh, oh, left click. All right. I so, punched it. Uh, we've been dealing with some issues trying to get this running, so it's actually going to be nighttime soon, and we turned on double monsters. So, <laughs> first thing I'm going to ask everyone to do double is go killing. in your inventory. So you press I. Okay. Grab, there's going to be a sling. You actually have two slings, but just grab one and put it on your hotbar. And also grab the sling bullets and put those on your hotbar. They're like little rocks. Okay. How do you make sling bullets? Because what happens with when stone. I run out? Uh, and so I'll, I'll show you that. It's a basic thing that you can make, so that's easy. Um, so does everybody have those on their hotbar? Yes. Sure do. Okay, so now you'll left click if you have the sling selected, and you can shoot little sling bullets. Okay? Oh. I, I don't think we can hurt each other, okay. but that's what you can do. Uh, All right, I, now come this way. Okay. I've dug us down a little thing so we can get more stone, because like I said, I'm pretty sure we're going to be wrecked. So if you come in here, Ooh. down in this little uh, kind of mine thing I built, and just start Ooh. digging out some of the walls to get some stone. Okay. And then do you I go need a back. shovel to do that, or can I just use my nope. hand? Nope. Just left clicking. Yeah. And then if you go back into your inventory, you'll notice you'll have some stone bricks. That's the basic stone material, and you can use that if you put that on your hot bar. You can use that to craft more sling bullets. I have to say, uh, the blockiness yep. is really tripping me out with the hyper realistic. I know. It, it's like a. It's like a. 256 uh, Minecraft yeah. skin. It's, and on it's top weird. of that, like, there's that, that slight motion blur that makes <laughs> it a little bit more real and the bloom and all that stuff. Yeah. All right, so y'all want to... It sounds like y'all are digging out quite a bit of uh, stuff. Stone. Um, yeah. And by the way, I'm assuming that this... Okay, cool. So it hasn't happened yet. Um, there's all these minerals down here you can see. We have some tin and we have some copper. You can kind of barely see. Don't dig those out. Uh, manually, okay. Because when you tell a worker to mine it, they'll actually mine it uh, infinitely. So it's like an infinite oh. source of copper or anything else. Got it. So we don't have any monsters actually spawning yet because we haven't set down our colony. I think so. We're actually we're gonna be safe if we don't oh, put down a colony. Oh, fantastic! Uh, so like the brick that you were talking about. How do I make yeah. that into the stone for? Uh... For, for, my, for my bullets. Okay, so you'll put the bricks on your hotbar. Okay, yeah. so like you can only work with stuff that's on your hotbar. Ah, right? and then I just go over everything here, else. Sling bullets. Then I just click yep. it. Oh, I just click it a left, bunch of yep. times. Upper yeah, left. cool. All right. So, Wait, so what? hit I to go in your inventory. Hit I to go in your inventory. Okay, grab the stone bricks and put them on your hotbar. And then in the left hand side, upper left hand side of your inventory, you'll see the things that you can craft. Okay, see so there's oh, a bunch of stuff that's grayed out, I get and the it. stuff that's not grayed out, that's what you can craft. Hey now, gosh. in the future, there's going to be a whole tons of stuff that we aren't even capable of crafting. Um, only our uh, people will be able to craft gotcha. it. Gotcha. Uh, so we probably don't want to put our colony down until morning, right? Yeah, we'll want to wait until morning. Um, so, once we hit morning, we will... Um, can I hit you? Guys. I don't think so. I don't think see, so. Stand right there. Nah, nothing. Nothing. It does oh, bounce bounced off, off you, though. though. It bounced <laughs> off you. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, hey, hold on. Jazzy, st st stay there. Boop. Wait, what happened? <laughs> I don't see it. It's, Boop. it's bouncing off your face. <laughs> oh, I don't see it. <laughs> Here, look at Rick. Look at Rick. All right, Rick, we try. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Oh, Aww, I can only see mine. Cute. I can't see y'all's. Uh, Man, this, this moon. It's very, yeah. very pretty. It's a, very it's pretty. A very, it's a moon. Um, uh, well, I see what I think is the Big Dipper. Yeah, I see the Big Dipper. Oh. You see it? Oh. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. And there's a little Dipper. Yeah. Wow. Neil deGrasse yeah. would be proud. And I see the Big Bear. There's the Big Bear right there. Right oh, here. Oh, look at morning. <laughs> Morning's coming, guys. All right. Oh. Morning is breaking. Perfect. So, where are we going to build this colony? Let's, yeah, let's find a place to build the colony. And we, hey, we can colony. all. Hey, colony. We can all build our own colonies. Oh. And so, that might be something that we'll want to do. We might want to build them all right next to each other, but then we're going to be occupying like the same space. Y'all want to see who limited. can build the best colony? Or we can build them kind of separated, but kind of help each other out. What do y'all think? Okay. Like, we should like have four towns. Se semi four close, pillars. I suppose, but okay. like not super close. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down my flag just right here. And this is uh, if you highlight with two on your uh, hotbar, just hit two. That's your um, banner. Oh. You right click okay. it and you put it down. Okay. So this is my banner. This is my area. Can y'all see my banner? Yes. yes. Okay. Can y'all see the edges of my banner? No. No. 
Okay, so when you put down your banner, there's going to be a green square that emanates from it. Uh, mine ends right here. Okay, right, I'm going to place mine so, behind yours right here. Yeah, I think like where Jazzy's at is good, or... Is that where you're going to put yours, Jazz? Sure, but how do, how do I put it down? See? Right click. Hit two. Oh, I can't. So can. that you're highlighting it's, it, and then right click. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you, do you see like kind of there's like a green I do. Border? Yeah, I do. that shows the edge of your land, and you can expand that later on through technology. But this, this is, is your land. land. Yeah, is everybody everybody putting down their their flags? Mm-hmm. Uh. It, yeah, it, it, you can't down. put it down until you reach the the borders of price. Hold on, oh, I got a, I got a, you overlap. Cool. Yeah. I got a pop up saying colony management colonists require five food units per day and a bed. Recruiting a colonist costs fifty. Food units, science yes. menu, and recruit a colonist. Okay, so if you go into your inventory, all right, and you make sure you have some planks, some straw, and some copper nails on your hotbar, you can build a bed. And a bed is how you hire colonists, okay? Okay. So, uh, so you look in the upper left, you'll see how it says beds, colonists, and unemployed. Yeah. Okay, so beds are like the upper limit. That's your maximum amount of people that you can have at the moment. Colonists is how many you currently have, and unemployed counts how many jobs you have. So before we even hire somebody, we're going to want to give them a job. All right? So you do that with the command tool, which is number one. But should I build a bed first, like on the That's, ground? It's, you don't, don't have to worry about it until you really want to hire the person right away. So I'd say put the job down first. Oh. So right, what I'd say so everybody should do, press one, so you're at your command tool, left click, Go to Berry Farmer. Okay. Wait, 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 okay. wait. It won on your hotbar. Okay. Yeah, left click. Okay, so like I got berry my Berry Farmer. farmer. Uh -huh. Okay, and then you'll right click on the ground and you'll start dragging out a space for that farm to take up. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, so, hold on. I want to escape. Wait, how do I not do this? Uh, left click. Got it. Okay. Left click cancels. Yeah. So you'll right click. And you'll drag out, and you'll see it'll tell you it's, if it's too small or too large. Got it. The, the best size berry farm I've found is an 11 by 4. Right click uh -oh. again, and it'll become blue. And then you'll notice that you have a minus 1 in your unemployed. Okay? Yes. So that's how many um, jobs that you have that aren't filled. So now you'll want to put down your bed. Ooh. And if you're looking, while you're putting down your bed, you see there's like an arrow. If you hit R, you'll rotate the way it's pointed. So that's just like the direction that that structure is going to be pointed. Doesn't matter for beds. Matters for other stuff in the future. Right click and put it down. You got a so bed. So do I want yep. to put it down in the berry farm? Not in the berry farm, no. Just okay. like on the ground somewhere else. And actually, I don't think it would let you put it on the berry farm. Okay. Um, yeah, put my bed down. Once you've done that, once everybody's got their bed down, once everybody's got their farm selected, mm -hmm. highlight the banner tool again, right click, and you can recruit a colonist. Okay. Recruit. Ah. Recruit a colonist, and he'll pop up at your oh, hey. banner. What's up, buddy? Friend, and then he'll get assigned oh. his job, and he's he'll go start Richard. working. Yeah. Because he's a berry work, farmer. Buddy. Berry go farmers find got those shirts. berries. I, oh, I they're I red shirts. Oh. They're gonna die. Probably. Okay. So oh, we want to build no. some walls, right? Cause... So we probably want to build some walls of some sort. Now, because we have oh, a no. shared space. Basically, what we can do is if we all highlight our areas, we can kind of build walls to certain edges, and then we can have like one giant wall that surrounds all of our okay. bases, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, so how do I highlight it again? Uh, go open your um, uh, banner tool again. So yep. just uh, press two, and it shows you where it is. Sweet. So I'm quickly just going to gather a bunch of uh, raw wood. I'm going to turn that into planks in my inventory and then just start building a wooden wall. Oh, you want a wooden wall? Ah, okay. But here's the thing. Here's the important thing. You can have. never fully enclose your banner. Your banner is kind of like your home base. It's the thing you're trying to protect. If you fully enclose it so that there's no way that things can enter and get to it, you go into what's called siege mode, and you start draining food. So okay. you don't want to do that. So basically, like... you got to have it, a gate. you got to have a door right. that they can come through. It could be in a room, but it's got to have a door on it. Now, do it I can be, you know, yeah, yeah, you can build small walls around it as long as it's got a door accessing it, and nowhere in the world can you block it off from... Um, others okay all right so, so that means you can't wood. have a room at the door and then a wall around it they have to be able to access it from everywhere right so if you do have the wall around the room then the wall still needs to have at least one open space make sense yes. so we, basically we have to make sure that there's a gate somewhere that they can get in and uh zombies will spawn um and uh we'll have to kind of protect ah! 
that gate. So that's what you'll, like, for... I've played this a little bit in the past, and uh, I usually, like, I'll put a gate, and then I'll have guards kind of guarding that one gate. So it makes it easier, because all the enemies funnel into there. So, why so, are there zombies? Uh, I don't why know. Why wouldn't probably, there be zombies? Come on, Ash. probably your fault, Ash, if I'm honest. Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> because somebody left the refrigerator door open. That's why you always mm. leave a note. Ash is always getting up in the middle of the night, and he's like, I'm, I'm hungry for some bear snacks. And what happens? Zombies? He leaves, he leaves the refrigerator door open. Another person walks by innocently and gets infected by the zombie virus, which is what keeps the refrigerator cold. Everyone knows that. So is all I need to make planks uh, just, or all I need to make walls is just planks? Yeah. A any cool. material that uh, you want to make it out of. Basically, like right now, I'm figuring we make something kind of simple, and then later on, we kind of try and do something a little more How crazy complex. How can I complex. nerd pull? Uh, you, just, you can nerd pull. Uh, jump and right click well, when you have a block highlight. Ah, perfect. You will so, take fall damage, I think. I'm not uh, going to go the entire perimeter of my place because that would be too much. But I want to protect my little dude. Yeah, yeah. You can build like just a small wall space. I'm building a pretty big one. Um, how high do we need to build the wall in order for it to protect too us? Tall, too? too tall. Too tall. And spot. how uh, you're building your walls out of wood planks? Yeah. Okay. Do, do, do. Just because it's the most abundant resource that we have right now. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Just do it like this and like this. Is that right? Yes, oh, right. it's getting dark, you guys. Yeah, pretty soon we're going to have some zombies. And you're definitely going to need to protect your little dude. Um, he will go and sleep in his bed. And... Uh, they will go right for him and your flag. And so right, you need I, to... I now, put the is light. there a benefit to building the wall within my borders, or does not that not matter? Um, you definitely don't want it outside, because basically, as far as I understand, zombies can spawn anywhere outside of your territory. Okay. And so, uh, as far as doors go, how do I make a door? There are no doors. You just, like, leave a gap. Oh, I just leave a gap. Okay. Yeah. check in so yeah jazzy you'll see that between our two walls there's like a little gap there mm -hmm. so that'll be where we'll want to watch and then i'll continue this one out this way and somebody be paying attention um to if you get a notification that says that you have been in siege mode or that you're in siege mode because it means that you might have built your wall it's too tight so like even if we build a wall around our entire base if it our still has to be an opening i already see a zombie are they already spawning? Yes. All right, get oh, out your crap. sling. Get to fighting. Oh, crap. Got to save my guy. Where's he at? Where's he at? Hold on, guy. Mm -hmm. He's heading towards my flag right now, but I need to build this taller real quick. Where's the zombie? I don't see him. You don't see him walking towards my flag right now? No. Is he near me? No. he's not. My, my base isn't anywhere near you, buddy. Oh, that's Rick. That's Rick near me. Whoops. It's me. Oh yeah, it's there he me. is, going right towards Ash. Ash is gonna get your guy. Okay, hold on. I was sorry. He's I was... killing your dude. Oh, is he? Ash, your dude's getting killed. Crap. Save your dude. Shoot him! Dude. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! He oh, killed your dude. Oh, he, he killed, killed your my dude. Dude, dude no! All right, All right, you'll have to hire a new colonist in the morning. All right, y'all, get ready, cause zombies, zombies are on the loose. Yeah, I see. I killed one. Here's another one. <laughs> I like J Jazzy's like little uh, wall around her whole place. Oh, I, I see a zombie. I didn't actually yeah. understand that they would sleep in that bed. Like I thought that that bed was my bed. No, that's, no, their, no, no, bed. that's their bed. That's their bed. Ash, you don't they, get a bed, sir. They get sleepy time beds. All right, S I just sleep is for the week apparently. Oh sleep no, is for... Jazzy, there's a zombie that spawns somewhere in between you and me. Yeah, oh yeah, they're I coming through that gap. I'm not seeing a lot of zombies around my neck of the woods, which is fine by me. Yeah, you must be in a good area. Although, be <coughs> careful, because you got trees around there. They might be blocking your view from them. All right, Jazzy, Where I'm going to block this zombies? part off. Okay. Which part? This part right here. So, now that I don't have a colonist, will they even, like, will they attack my farm? They'll try They'll and attack, attack your, banner. your flag. Your okay. banner. Now, I'm not they sure hit, about the flags. HP of the banner or anything like that. I don't know how that works. Um... I've never had it attacked, but they do go for it. So I assume that that's their ultimate goal. Go for it, go for it. Oh. Uh, go for it, go oh, for I it. Oh, I see one zombie. Oh. Yep, a couple of them over here. Come here, dude. So 
Refrigerators are powered by the zombie virus. By the zombie virus, yes. Yes. Of Got it. Well, because the that's when, when you turn into a zombie, what happens? You get okay. cold, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that's one of like the first signs, and that's the thing. Like, yeah, ah! it sucks. Zombies, no. right? Flesh eating, you no. know, destroy you, humanity, you dystopia, all that kind of stuff. But also, cold. So keeps your food cold, and you know, protects it from decomposition. Which is weird because you know zombies decompose, but don't worry about it too much.